vote for Mara Healy 2022. Vote for Mara Healy, Lieutenant Democratic Governor. Mara leads with her focus on teamwork, open lines of communication, and bringing people together. Go. Why you should vote for Mara Healy. Mara Healy is against big corporations, Trump, predatory leaders against students and home owner, owners. Mara is for bringing people together and expanding economic opportunities for everyone in Massachusetts. Are you ready to vote? Why should you vote? Jeff Deal. President, former President Donald Trump once said, it will, make your, it will rule your state with an iron fist. He helped with global warming and climate change. One of the committee assignments was technology and intergovernmental affairs. He was a member of the Massachusetts House of Representatives and he got 114,600 votes for the pre-election. Vote for Jeff Deal. So here we have Kim Driscoll, who is running for Lieutenant Governor uh, Democrat. And these are all the things that she's running for. Kim is part of the Democratic Party. Kim was the first woman mayor in Salem, Massachusetts, 2006. Kim has been taking action against substance abuse. Kim has been a strong leader and has helped people through the pandemic. Well, in Salem, Kim has adopted a climate change plan. Kim has currently been working on getting children back into classrooms safely. Kim made major investments in veterans' benefits. Kim went to plan an aid department for a college. Kim has been helping immigrants become citizens. Kim has, has actively been volunteering. Kim helps make things more affordable for lower class citizens. The things that Kim is for is regional leader on issues such as housing affordability, diversity, equality, combating climate change. Kim is against abortions, petty political games, corruption of elected officials. Vote now for Kim Driscoll. Kim was elected mayor of Salem in 2005 and is still mayor. Kim was elected as a member of Salem City before being mayor. Kim also worked as Deputy City Manager and Chief Legal Counsel for the City. Kim also worked as Deputy City Manager and Chief Legal Counsel for the City of Chelsea before becoming mayor. Kim is is for equality, helping immigrants, investing in veterans, and education. And then Kim is for education first, equality for all, and better health care. Vote, vote for, for Kim, Kim Driscoll. Driscoll. Vote for Leah Cole Allen. Uh, you should vote for Leo Cole Allen because she's here to protect your money and make your kids safe. And she wants to protect you from the mandates that close our businesses and schools. Vote, vote for Leo, Leo Cole Allen. Allen. Additional tax on income over $1 million. What does it mean? Income tax is tax levied by a government directly on income, especially an annual tax on personal income. If an additional tax is added, our living establishments could be better. Here are some. Schools. This money would be able to help schools for lunch and breakfast food. It also can help for extra school equipment and school fundraisers. Science and medical research. This could go to our medical research. It allows scientists to learn more stuff that they need to know and provide equipment. Homeless shelters. It can provide more materials for the shelters, including water, beds, blankets, and more. It can also provide and build more shelters around the world. Law enforcement. It can provide them with money if needed. It can give them more vehicles, guns, more officers, and overall help a lot. Vote now to additional tax over $1 million. Vote now to additional tax on income over $1 million. Massachusetts, question one, tax on income over $1 million for education and transportation amendment. Should you support this statement? I say to vote no for question one. If you vote no, you are saying no to an extra 4% for tax income over $1 million. Let's say you sell a private island for $1 million. Then an extra 4% on top of the 5% get added onto the $50,000 you would pay. Now it would be $90,000 in tax. So, so vote, vote no, no for, for question, question one. Hi, I'm Carly, this is Christina and Gavin, and here are some reasons why to vote for Kevin Reed. Here's a little background knowledge about Kevin. 
He grew up in Dallas, Texas and attended Richardson, Texas Public Schools. He became an author and published a book called 10,000 Miles to the American Dream and then took the job to be a libertarian governor of Massachusetts. Here is why you should vote for Carter Reed for the Massachusetts governor. First, he is a very understanding and intelligent man. Second, he has made a lot of accomplishments in his life, such as writing and publishing books. He is also a good person overall. Vote for Kevin Reed. Vote for Green Rainbow Party. Gloria Cabarello. Roca. Have social justice and no violence in our community. Vote for Green Rainbow Party. Equality matters. Vote for Green Rainbow Party now. The Green Rainbow Party was founded in 2002 by Juan Sanchez and Gloria Cabrero. They supported gay people and they wanted other rights for other races and they supported basic democracy. The party wants ecological wisdom and the party also wants nonviolence and equality for the state. If Gloria gets elected, she is going to be accountable to all residents of Massachusetts, not to the insider who dominated Beacon Hill. Vote for the Green Rainbow Party. Hello, my candidate is Diana DeZoglio, and she is running for auditor. She believes that all people should be treated the same, no exceptions. Her plan for action are as follows. Minority-owned businesses will have it easier and quicker to get their business started right away. Also, she is going to make sure that the MTPC or Mass Police Training Commissions in order to put in implicit bias training in order to stop police brutality right in its tracks. Along with this, she's going to make sure that Massachusetts is meeting its climate goals. So when you vote on November 8th, vote for Diana. Vote no on question two. Vote no on two. It's not okay. Vote no on question two. Thank you for being a voter. Question two, as you may know, is used to decide how dental insurance money is used. Right now, dental insurance companies can take your insurance income and use it on purely administrative costs. Such as employee raises and new office equipment. Voting yes on question two will make it so that dental insurance companies can only use 83% of insurance income towards dentist offices. That way you, the consumer, get the best care you can get. Vote oh, yes on two. Dominic Giannon III in the Workers' Party is a running candidate for auditor and you should vote for him. The Workers' Party believes that the working class needs a party of their own. The Workers' Party also believes in the diligent and persistent ways of work. Dominic believes that people should be more focused on their jobs. The Workers' Party, along with Janon, will stop the Capitalist Party, which believe in cheaper and easier ways of working. Vote for Dominic Janon III on November 8th for auditor. What is an auditor? An auditor is a person who makes sure no business abuses their money. Essentially, the auditor will make sure that money it given isn't used for what it was not intended to be used for. This will ensure that money given to business will be in good and responsible hands. What is a libertarian? A libertarian is someone who is joining the libertarian political party. Libertarians believe that everyone, no matter race, gender, or sexual orientation, should have equal rights and should be treated fair and equally. Libertarians also believe in individual rights. Individual rights mean that you can do what you want and are responsible for yourself as long as you, what you're doing is not legal. They also believe in self-ownership, which means that you have the right to decide what you do to, with your body and safety without government interest interference. They are for peace and rule of law. They also believe that parents can raise their children however they please and as long as their children's health isn't impact negatively, uh, no abuse or negle neglect, and the parent protects their child. Why should you vote for Daniel Reek? Daniel Reek believes in peace and equal rights. He believes in individual rights and self-ownership, which means that he will somewhat be trustworthy with the money he's giving to people. Vote for Daniel Reek. You should vote for Anthony Amor to run for state auditor. Amor is willing to lower prices on taxes and other items. Amor also wants the government to be smaller so that there's no problems with people taking power over their position. Anthony is part of the Republican Party and believes everything that they believe. He thinks that Republicans are better because of what they believe in and what they do. Vote for Anthony Amore. Vote William F. Gavin because... Galvin ran for re-election in 2004 Secretary of State. He won the Dominican nomination without an argument in 2014. 
Gavin was first elected to the statewide position in 1994. Gavin served 15 years as a state representative in the Mass General Court. He won the Dominican, uh, the Democratic primary, and lost in the general election. Vote for William F. Gavin. Vote for Kimberly Ann Ferguson. This is why you should vote for her. Her Kimberly has is running for House of Representative. Another reason to vote for Kimberly is she is on the ballot in general election on November 8th, 2022. She advanced from the Republican primary on September 6, 2022. Ferguson was first elected to the cham uh, chamber in 2010. Ferguson earned her Miss in speech slash language pathology and certificate of advanced graduated studies in education, leadership, and management. She has had representative um, position for the last 11 years, so she had experience in that position. Vote for Kimberly Ferguson! Her group has Juan Sanchez, and he is running for Secretary of State, and he is a part of Green Rainbow Party. Juan Sanchez stands for living wage jobs, equal rights, social equity, economical assistance, ensuring the underprivileged of voice, and he stands for the LGBTQ+. He believes in feminism, nonviolence, social justice, diversity, respect, and equal opportunities, global responsibility, personal responsibility. Vote for Juan Sanchez. Hi, I'm Owen, and I want you to say yes to question three, because we need more mature people to drink responsibly and to avoid more crashes in the future. We also need to add more licenses for people to um, allow to drink. Oh, yes, 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 to the ballot question. The ballot question, which possesses no changes to restaurants and bars, it would have a real but, but limited impact on the landscape of alcoholic sales across Massachusetts. Very few chains even approach the current limit of nine licenses, including familiar names like Cumberland Farms and Ocean State Job Lot. This may suggest limited demand for amassing more license for the state of alcohol. I'm Kata Mahan and I approve this message. Vote no on question three. Rayla Campbell is a 40 year old African American woman who is part of the Republican Party. She believes that people should vote on voting day instead of handing in votes all month and being counted by a machine. She also believes that people should hand count the votes that come in. She, she believes that people should be more social to others instead of doing things with technology. The Republican, the Republican Party believes in things like economic growth, social conservatism, and they are a large part of the private sector which is part of an economy that is not controlled by the state. They are run by individuals or companies of profit. People should vote for Rayla Campbell because some people don't want things, want things like technology to be a number one priority in doing things. People would rather do things on time, face to face, instead of having people do it over technology. Vote for Rayla Campbell. You should vote for Audrea Campbell for Attorney General. Reasons why you should vote for Audrea Campbell. She is, a, she is fighting for justice and opportunity for all. Andrea Campbell has decided her life fighting for greater equalities and opportunities for all. She is running for Attorney General because there has never been an office or state with so, so much potential and promise to solve pressing matters of today. Vote for Andrea Campbell. Vote no on question four. Do you want safer roads? Do you want more security? Do you want safe elections? Question four will make it so people no longer need legal residency to get a driver's license. Question four will also make it so state officials can no longer verify identity. And question four will make it so people out from outside of Massachusetts can vote in our elections. I hope you make an informed decision. And remember, vote no on question four. Vote, vote no, no for question four. four. Massachusetts is one 
of the most important places in the U.S. James McMahon plans to keep it the noble place our nation was built on. He will do the he will do his very best to keep your first and second amendment 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 rights upheld and catch all drug criminals plugging our state. Vote James McMahon for Massachusetts Attorney General. Vote James McMahon. Vote for Jeffrey Burt, the Worcester Sheriff Republican. He is a Republican. A quote from Jeffrey Burt is work as you would live forever and live as you would die today. So vote for Jeffrey Burt. Vote, vote for, for Jeffrey, Jeffrey Burt. Hi, I believe you should vote yes for question four in the Massachusetts 2022 ballots. A yes vote would allow undocumented immigrants to get training for driver's license and a driver's license without proof of citizenship or residency in the United States. This would be very good for Massachusetts residents, opposed to people driving without licenses and without training, which would cause more hit and runs because people can't provide residency, so they flee. This can help people, this can save lives, this can make Massachusetts a safer place with safer roads. And that's why I think you should vote yes for question four. Vote yes for question four. Vote for Robin Kennedy. She will bring new ideas and new perspectives to the government and will have better care for our children. Her priorities are she wants to help with health care. She wants to improve it for it to be affordable and accessible. She also wants to help with the economy. She wants to help create a good education by helping with paying for a tech school and trade jobs. Vote, Vote for Robin Kennedy. Kennedy. I'm Isabella. I'm Jackson. I'm Sarah. This is uh, David Fontaine. He is running for Worcester County Sheriff. But there's no information about him. Vote, Vote for, for David Fontaine.